The government announced plans today to spend almost $12 billion to develop the demilitarized zone. There will be programs to allow visitors to experience the two Korea's cultures, untouched nature and military life. Oh Jung-hee has more on the possible transformation to come at the border area. With the goal of having the inter-Korean demilitarized zone as an ecological peace zone, Seoul plans to create several tourist spots along the inter-Korean border. South Korea's Ministry of the Interior and Safety announced Thursday that it's investing 13.2 trillion won, or roughly 11.7 billion U.S. dollars, to run a total of 225 projects until 2030. These projects are mainly to foster the development of the border areas which have been hindered until now by regulations. But the purpose is also to lay a foundation for future interactions and exchanges between South and North Korea and to boost tourism. To introduce a few, a 456-kilometer-long walking trail will be created to connect 10 cities between Kanghua District and Gosong County in Gangwon-do Province. The tourists will be able to experience each region's unique culture and history and witness the reality of the two Korea's division and the current peace momentum while taking a peek at untouched nature. A center for experiencing the two Korea's cultures will be established in Cheolwon County. In addition to these, since the two Koreas are lowering military tensions and removing guard posts at the DMZ, the government says it will also set up spots for visitors to experience what it's like to be in the military. The government expects these and other programs to contribute to improving inter-Korean ties, boost economic growth in the regions and create jobs. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.